This intro is gonna feel so dumb. This is Minecraft. This is a Minecraft pie. This is a Minecraft pie chart. And this is the Minecraft pie chart explained. Uh, so this video is gonna be split into two sections. The first one is gonna talk about how to find fortresses. And the second one is gonna be about how to find a buried treasure without a map. First, I'm gonna talk about the pie chart itself. There's a bunch of different categories uh, that you can see down here. There's only two that we're gonna be interested in. There's tick and game renderer. So each of the categories has a number next to it. So to access that category, you just press that number. So if you wanna go into tick, next to tick is four, press four. And then it, uh, it opens up more categories. Uh, to reset it, like I just did, you press zero. So if you go into a bunch of categories, and then you want to go back to the beginning, you go to zero, and zero as many times as you have to. Uh, for both of these, we're going to be looking at block entities. For fortresses, it's going to be mob spawners, because there's blaze spawners. And for, for treasures, it's just going to be any block entities. For fortresses, which we're going to talk about first, and you're going to go into tick, level, entities, and then block entities. Unspecified is always going to be here, and then there's going to be mob spawner and chests which are like bastions and fortresses and room portals, and the mob spawner specifically uh, has like a 90% chance of being a fortress. It can be uh, a treasure bastion because they have magma cube spawners in them. So anyway, you're gonna open up chunks with F3G, like that. Uh, if there is a mob spawner like here, you're gonna turn your render distance down to 2. If there's no mob spawner, you're gonna increase your render distance until there is. Uh, so to increase your render distance, you press F3 and F at the same time. To decrease it, you press Shift F3 and F. And you can also hold it so it goes fast like that. Uh, so once you're at 2, you're going to refresh the pie chart by closing it and opening it. Then increase your distance until you have a mob spawner. 10. So that means that the blaze spawner is 10 chunks away, which is pretty lucky. Then you're going to go down a few, re reset it, and then go to one under that. So in this case it was 9 because the blaze spawner showed up at 10. Did you just? Then you're going to go into a new chunk. So you can just like pass through a chunk order. And so you see it didn't show up in the pie chart. If it did, that means the blaze spawner is that way. So it's not this way. Not this way, so it must be this way. So you see it showed up there, which means that the blaze spawner is this way. So now you can turn your render distance back up. Uh, and just run this way for a while. In about 10 chunks, there should be a blaze spawner. Where is it? Oh, okay. Uh, it's hidden. <laughs> But, oh, it's, oh, it's over here. No, where is it? So anyway, you found the fortress. Usually it's not hidden, obviously. Oh, there it is. Usually it's not hidden. Um, so you can just see it from the open, but in this case it is. So I found one, uh, which is Illumina's, uh, still Illumina's PB, right? Yeah. Illumina's PB seed which used buried treasure to the seed here. So, um, you want to apply this when you're just loading into a world and you see a coast or a uh, island. So in this case, it's like kind of both. So, uh, you're going to turn down your render distance to 5, or, or if you're like on a really small island, you can turn it down even more, but I'm just going to put it on 5. Turn on chunk borders again. Uh, open up your pie chart, but this time go to Game Renderer. And the reason is that because Game Renderer only renders the things that are uh, they, that you're looking at, pretty much. Game Renderer, Level, and then Entities. Don't click Block Entities because there's going to be nothing in there. So you're going to start by facing one direction and open up your chart. And uh, you're only looking at the orange section. If the orange section is pretty small, like it is here, there is no chest or just block entity in general that way. Uh, 
oh yeah, other thing is that you're going to be thrown off pretty often by like dungeons or mineshaft or something like that. So anyway, there isn't much this way. So now you can just like start rotating right and refreshing. Oh, there it is. So as soon as I was like here, uh, a block entity loaded in. Here. So now you're going to look on your to the very right of your screen where that is. It's like here. So the very uh, left of the chunk is here, where, where the thing is, treasure. So now you're going to look back again, and you're going to go left, doing the same thing. Oh. So then to the very left of your screen, that's the right edge of the chunk. So if, that, that, so if that's the right edge, and that's the left edge, then the chunk is this one here. It's not going to be as simple as this every time. It's some, like if I spawned over there, I probably wouldn't have found it because it's really far away, even though it is in my render distance. Uh, then you can just go to 9-9 nine, nine because all buried treasure, like, here, a chunk. First number is 9, last number has to be 9 as well. Uh, buried treasures always spawn at the 9-9 nine, nine because I, they just do. <laughs> there it is. Uh, I'm gonna show another example. If you want to find uh, mapless seeds like this, there's uh, an FSG filter for it, which I'll leave a link to in the description, called uh, Just Learn Treasure. So here we're on an island, right? Um, I haven't seen the seed before, so I don't know where it is. Uh, so look one direction. Uh, the first direction should usually like be towards the sea, because that's where it's less likely to be. Um, so there's an that way, start refreshing. There. So here. Uh, just this way, so that's it's probably this chunk then, because that was the, um, the, it, like it matched this line, but it could also be like that one over there. So to check, do the thing to the left this time. The chunk border is right here. What? Uh, let me just do that again. I'm a bit confused. Here, so so it's probably not this one because it would show it right when the chunk loads in. So here, so it could be this one. It's a check, actually. So no, it's not this one because like I'm looking at this chunk and there it's there's no spike. Is it this way? Oh, there is a spike. Okay, I'm just bad. Here. So then the chunk thing is like here, which is about at this line here, so that's probably this chunk. Once again, to check, you can do this. Yeah, it's like definitely this chunk, so if you go to 9, it's is that the- oh my- Well, that's a bit weird. Uh, <laughs> I've never seen that before. If you spawn like in a plains, or in a savanna, or in a desert, and if you want to know where there's a village, like this actually. <laughs> so if you didn't- see if you want to know where the vill whether there's a village, you go into uh, tick, level entity, block entities. And you see any village blocks in there, like a bell or a smoker or something like that, there's a village. In this case, there like aren't any. So I'm going to TP to a village to see what that looks like. Here. Uh, oh. So yeah, Spruce Villages show like slightly different blocks, but you can see there's like a ton of different block entities, like a campfire and a bell and a glass furnace and stuff. Oh, that goes. Um... So on village types that are not snowy or spruce, if you want to, um, oh. if you want to know whether there's a blacksmith, you can do so, but it doesn't work on these ones because uh, blacksmiths don't have a like specific block that they generate with. So this one's desert. So let's say that I was like over here and I spawned in, 
Let's see my pie chart thing, and there's a bell. Wow, there's a bell. If there was a furnace, there would be a blacksmith, because the only way that a furnace can generate a... Is that another portal? Wow. That the only way that a furnace can generate in a village that's, like, not snowy or spruce is that if there's a blacksmith... Is that a temple? This... Wow. <laughs> so in this case, there's no furnace in here, so there's no blacksmith. Uh, I'm just gonna show one last example because, yeah. See, this is a plains village. So if I spawned like over here and I didn't want to like use my eyes, there is no furnace, and indeed, if you look over here, there is no blacksmith to be found. Um, so let's say that there was a furnace. Furnaces are pretty recognizable in the pie chart because they're like white. They're completely different to the other ones. See, there's a furnace here. So, unless you place the furnace, obviously, the only way for the furnace to be in your render instance is for a blacksmith to be there. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.